Good evening. I'm Deanna Swetland. I'm English teacher at the Roseman High School. And um, what I want to talk about real briefly is that um, this year we participated in um, a program called REAP. That stands for Reading Institute for Academic Preparedness. And myself and Mrs. Carr um, went to Cal State Bakersfield uh, over the year. It took about 10 days out of the year to go and um, take this course. And uh, the purpose for this course is there's a big gap between high school graduates and um, being ready for college placement on the English exams. And in fact, over the last few years, Roseman High School has only scored 15% proficiency to um, at a college entry level um, it going into the CSU and the, and the Cal State schools. And so they're um, really trying to bridge that gap and have our students ready. It's not just our school, it's pretty much statewide. And so the Cal State Bakersfield has really led the charge to um, try to develop this course and bring teachers from all over the state to um, prepare the teachers to um, help the kids get, gain in proficiency so that they can enter college at a proficiency level and not have to take any remedi re remediation. And so we're hoping that we could bring that to um, the high school next year. I think we're planning on um, offering two courses, and this is for 12th grade. Um, it's a college prep class. It's called ERWC. And we're going to um, provide two sections for the 12th graders for next year. And ERWC is, stands for, it's a lot of acronyms, um, Expository Reading and Writing course. And we're going to um, bring that to the 12th graders so that that can really help them um, be prepared for college at the entry level and help them in their reading and their writing for um, college level. So um, that's something exciting that I think that we could bring back to our high school. Another thing that I'm here to do is that um, another hat is that I've um, done the speech meets for the La Day, the Antelope Valley wide all the high schools in the Antelope Valley, um, there is a speech meet that they offer. And every year we've entered students. And this year we entered um, Harlan Torres and Samantha Ness. And um, this is the first year that we made it up to the finals. And the three finalists from all of the schools in the Antelope Valley got to participate in the La Day Luncheon last Friday. And um, our Samantha Ness, stand up. She won runner-up for Roseman High School. And her speech was um, on why it's important to vote, and um, she did a fantastic job, and everyone who went agreed that she should have won first place. I'll take it. HDL <laughs> champ for the 3200 meters, which is the two mile for track. Wow, that's pretty neat. Have you ever run that before? Yes. Okay, and what was your best time? My PR is 1313, and today I got 1316 in the win. So, yeah. Wow, you got the one. You got the win. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So you're going to run next year too? Yes. Uh huh. Doing, going to do better. Uh huh. Well, congratulations. Uh, you can get scholarships for running. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy about it. I should say, and that's a long way to run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how do you keep going? What do you tell yourself? Do you focus on the finish line, or think about vacation, or how does it work? Just like improve my PR. Uh huh. So yeah. That's what you're driven for. Yeah, I keep thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Hold your medal up, would you, so I can uh, see it a little bit. Oh yeah. Gee, that's that's amazing. Has has anybody in Roseman history ever won that? Yeah. Have they? So. Yeah, you think some have? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, congratulations. You did a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Southern Kern Unified School District has 
taken back over United Street Park here on Saturday May 3rd the uh, the grass looks at least a hundred percent better it's uh, green and lush and the sprinklers are all fixed and uh, no mud holes and it really is looking better now the district has announced publicly that they plan to uh, during the summer refurbish the entire park and uh, so the kids soccer kids and softball can play on the park again but it's off to a good start